Today guys, we're going to explore Mersin. The city located on the shore of the Mediterranean Sea in Turkey. Population of Mersin is about 1 million people. It's quite large city in Turkey. Mersin is not as well known as Alanya or Antalya, but nevertheless, it has some popularity among tourists. There is no airport in Mersin, and nearest airport in Adana, 60 kilometers away. But I got here from Antalya by bus. It took me about 8 hours. Very long trip. And to be honest, Mersin is not much different from Antalya, where I live right now. Well, I'm in Mersin now, and I'm going to explore this town a little bit, this city. It's really big and huge, and let's see what's going on here. Okay, I'm in uh, Marina. Uh, yeah, it reminds me of the same area in Sochi city. Yeah, in Russia. It really looks like this. Yeah, basically everything is just a huge mall, shopping mall. Yeah, that's weird. I expected it to be like really Marina, but it's not. Let's see. I'll show you a little bit this uh, Marina Bay, Marina Kyoi uh, area. Yeah, this is um, like real Marina, a real port with uh, a lot of yachts. And people are just walking here and chilling and a lot of cafes, a lot of places to drink coffee and walk. And a lot of luxury yachts here. Yeah, and I ordered some, some latte and just walking and chilling here as well. Yeah, that's nice. Mersin is composed of four municipalities and district governors Agdeniz, Mezetli, Toroslar, and Yenishihir. I don't know why, but you cannot go closer to these boats. You have to walk uh, like this and just observe them from the distance. Uh, I guess it's because it's the territory of. Uh, mall and every mall in Turkey to get there you need to go for inspection zone like in the airport you need to put your bag on the scan yeah, and so on and so forth it's crazy but anyway this pretty nice uh, area shopping area I like this uh, shopping areas which is uh, not centralized but a lot of Many stores, many shops, cafes, and so on and so forth. In city itself, it's hard to find a beach, because this city is used mostly as a port. By the way, it's the largest seaport in Turkey. But there are a lot of beaches around Mersin. For example, in the town Silivke, which is located 30 kilometers from the city center. Uh, this is port, and uh, it seems like it's closed for uh, regular people for citizens and just for people who work there and that's why uh, you cannot go there from the territory of mall yeah but anyway just to walk uh, in Mersin Marine area is quite nice yes guys look at this table you can draw here and it's not forbidden it's like I guess every person and they say the all tables here there is a drone and yeah, that's funny. If you cannot uh, stop something, be leader of it. <laughs> nice, I like this approach. Okay, guys, we out of this uh, marina uh, mall, and it seems like very nice pedestrian street, bike trail. Yeah, I like it here. I met some guy who said that he likes this place, he likes the street, this boardwalk. Okay, let's see what's going on here in Mersin. Okay, we now out of this boardwalk and I want to explore the city itself, see how local people live, how they spend their days. And let's go to this uh, buildings, to this area and see what's going on inside. Local people love Mersin, and its nickname in Turkey is the Pearl of the Mediterranean.
Well, we're just in, in the regular neighborhood by the sea and, and to be honest it's quite fancy neighborhood and I think uh, rooms and flats here cost a lot so for example my friend he rents here a flat for uh, not red, not flat like room of five hundred dollars and that's a lot so yeah but this is quite fancy area and Mersin it's not as touristic as Antalya but anyway it looks good we are still walking in this boardwalk and uh, look at these palm trees I like them yeah basically uh, Mersin is very inconvenient if you don't have your car if you're just walking because uh, it's not designed for uh, just uh, not designed to walk here uh, and if you're walking here you're supposed to suffer supposed to suffer a lot well and especially look at me I got this huge backpack and I'm suffering twice or so three times more so I guess I suffered enough uh, to deserve some like from you please hit the like button and subscribe button of course uh, well you know the Mr. Hello <laughs> I like Turkish people they're so friendly and we are walking in another neighborhood it's a little bit far from the place where we've been look at this guy he's collecting trash he's collecting trash and um, send it for a cycle well this is uh, still this neighborhood with like regular people living and this is school like some middle school look at this yeah this is Normal, regular neighborhood of Turkey, Mersin. Nice, I like it. Another neighborhood in Mersin. They're still walking. It doesn't look so fancy. It's like a regular one. Yeah. Look how Turkish people cross the road. It's Turkish style. And I think we're going to do the same because, you know, who cares? Red light, green light, nobody cares. Just let's cross the road. Yeah, like this. The shore of Mediterranean Sea in Turkey full of some antique stuff, antique cities and everything. For example, this is uh, old old colons, remains from old building. Uh, uh, they're just located in, in the neighborhood where people live and they're just uh, surrounded by this fence and it's like just for people to watch them. Yeah, that's it, just some antique colons. Another neighborhood in uh, Mersin and pretty much everything in Turkey looks the same, every neighborhood. And firstly you walk among buildings and then you go to the central street and you'll see like a lot of markets, uh, a lot of uh, shops, stores, everything like huge market. And pretty much in Turkey everything looks the same. This is huge camp house. Uh, I think you can go to the mountains and in this camping bus. Yeah, that's very nice. And here's some people playing. It's just like regular boardwalk in Mersin. And it's very, very huge, very long. I got to some flat and look at this nice balcony. It's so cool. We can uh, go to your neighbor, neighbor. Just, just <laughs> by this you can say like hi <laughs> and shake a hand at your neighbors. I don't want to show you guys some seaside in some famous place. I just want to show you some regular life in Mersin. That's regular people doing their business, doing their stuff and look at this yeah, just normal neighborhood in Mersin city that's nice, I love it I want to show you some cafe where people playing in some traditional Turkish game. Look at this, everyone is playing this game. Merhaba! And drinking tea. It's 
very nice. As I said before, Mersin is not a touristic place. The port of Mersin is the mainstay of the city's economy. But also Mersin is famous for citrus and cotton production. Banana, olive and various fruits are also produced in Mersin. We took taxi and came to another boardwalk. Actually, Mersin, uh, this city lasts uh, by the sea about 20, maybe 25 kilometers, maybe even 30. And uh, everything here is a huge beach, huge board, not beach, huge boardwalk. Probably this boat didn't park right and now being evacuated from here. <laughs> yeah. Despite the lack of the airport, Mersin has highway connection to the north, east and west of Turkey. That makes city easy accessible. If you don't like very touristic city and want to live somewhere in Turkey, I think Mersin could be perfect choice for you. But of course, to me Antalya is much closer to my heart. Just Oh, this is Chaiji. You know, this Chaiji is a guy who is uh, carrying tea. Uh, this is tea, but now it's water, of course, but it's, it's supposed to be Chai in his uh, backpack. Uh, this is probably Ataturk Park somewhere. And this is Museum of Ataturk. Yeah, and we are just walking in this nice place. Ah, here it is, Ataturk Park, probably. All right, this way, yeah, this is Ataturk. market spontaneous free flea market yeah very nice here it smells like uh, smells like cats <laughs> and some food and it's uh, special Turkish smell well if you smell this you know that you're in Turkey and look at this another cafe with this gentleman playing this game that's really nice Merhaba. yeah i hope they will not kill me this is not so fancy neighborhood it's a little bit less fancy than you've seen before and usually a uh, normal turkish neighborhood look like this yeah and uh, sometimes even worse especially in ankara for example uh there are a lot of slums and you can see the video in the link below i'll put it for you yeah and uh, here, uh, here's quite okay, I would say. Yeah, let's see what's in this street. Oh, well, I would say this is quite okay. This is how it looks normal. Turkish neighborhood with like normal people. Not middle class, but like lower middle class. Like the majority of people living here, yeah. Well, this is real life with real Turkish people. Look at this, yeah and yeah not not really ins inspiring она просто смонтирую и все нормально мэра listen they're not so friendly here in this district <laughs> people not friendly they're like man what the hell are you doing here you gotta get out of here before um, <laughs> before we enslave you <laughs> yeah uh, feels a little bit scary I would say but okay let's keep keep on cool. Oh guys, I got almost almost got panic attack and there's 
area. Yeah, not re not really inspiring. I wanna I wanna get out of here. Yeah. Can you smell it? <laughs> like smells like something is burning. Look at this, guys. I wanna show you something. Yeah, a huge building. Yeah. And this is some school. Finally, we are getting out of this oh, dangerous neighborhood. And this is uh, court, local court, and uh, local like uh, uh, yeah, local court. Some market area. Actually, it's awesome normal neighborhood and if you go this way you also see this scary district scary neighborhood yeah but here is quite okay and we are going back to the ocean yeah I'll show you a little bit more yeah to be honest it's not really the place where you want to be if you are here for vacation I guess you just go to some hotel like all inclusive and so on wow look at this very nice Merhaba. <laughs> well, okay, keep exploring local life. Yeah, people. Okay. Merhaba. Merhaba. Hello. Look at this. Yeah. This is very very old and poor area mm. nice reminds me some districts of New York somehow yeah. we and some city center Wow, look at this bus. It looks so beautiful. I, I get to show it to you. Look at this. Wow. A very nice. Oh, Jesus Christ. They are so cool. Yeah, it's like small New Year buses. We found some erotic shop, as you can see, and a lot of stores, and now the sun goes down and it's getting it's getting a little bit oh and it's getting a little bit yeah it's a bit more funny here yeah yeah I like this night oh these people they're from Syria uh, actually they are kids and they are they are collecting some carton some plastic look, 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 look at this oh wow, crazy Yeah guys, it was a nice walk in the city. I hope you like it. And if it's so, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the like button. This is by the ocean cafes and this is uh, boats and you can eat fresh fish on the boats. Merhaba. Yeah. That's cool, that's cool. All of them are oh, cafes and you can buy some fresh fish here and some you know, sandwich. Look at this. Wow guys, look at this. This is uh, portable, portable riders. That's cool. Yeah, I like it. Uh, interesting. Never seen it before. Turkish people love dogs and look at this, 
the doctor in the store. She's he's working here, like on the computer. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. I'll show you a little bit of night, Mersin. Yeah, here it is. Here in Turkey, in Mersin, on the boardwalk, you can buy this instant noodle and they will cook it for you right away. And you can also buy some tea, Turkish tea, Turkish coffee. Do you want to say hi to my followers? Okay. If you want to have a little fun at night on the boardwalk, you can do it in these swings. Yeah, that's very nice. Okay, guys, we are finishing our walk uh, in Mersin now. And I guess you have enjoyed this. Yeah, uh, Mersin city, Mersin uh, at night, it's not like very interesting city. It's not very touristic. Uh, small cities around, it's more touristic. For example, Siflike and another. Here, just like regular people, normal life. And just mostly like ports and like some work class people living here yeah and i hope guys you liked my video and if you really like this please don't forget hit like button and subscribe of course and i was glad to be here with you thank you for being here it was my pleasure see you next time This place looks so American, <laughs> but in the Turkish way of this. Yeah, very nice. Look at this. A look at this fancy bus. <laughs> wow, it's like from the Coca-Cola commercial. Yeah, very nice. They will get you right to the, to the heaven. <laughs> Probably, I don't know. Okay, guys, I've lost my shoes. Uh, in Turkey, it's common to leave shoes like this, and I left my sneakers, but uh, they gone, and I have now no, only flip flops. Don't repeat my mistake. <laughs> don't don't do that. And by the way, I'm leaving this city. Uh, really, really. I I think maybe I need to to steal some some of these shoes. You know, it's how it's how violence work. More violence breeds more viol violence. That's how it works. I know this guy knows where's my shoes. I know he knows it for sure. Merhaba. Can I film? Yeah, I need to find my shoes. So. Yeah. No shoes, no luck. Merhaba. New morning is coming and I'm going out of Mersin. I'll show you a little bit of this area. Yeah, it's quite, quite normal uh, city. Very big, very decentralized, and looks pretty much the same everywhere you go. It looks pretty much the same, every neighborhood, ex except some poor, poor areas. Thank you guys for being here. I hope you like this video, and if it's so, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Love you all. See you next time.